Hey yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed. Listen up. The last video I was talking about areas I love running in. Just, just rambling a little bit, just talking about it. But this time, I'm talking about places I can't stand. We talking about places I cannot. Ah, I hate with a passion. So let's get into it. Number one. We just gonna get the elephant out the room. The entire state of West Virginia, all of it sucks. West Virginia is the most annoying, the biggest nuisance in the country. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you coming in from Virginia on I-64. I don't care if you coming in from Virginia on I-77. It all sucks. 77 in my opinion that's the worst interstate to run through west virginia oh my god it's pretty much you you come in from virginia running north 77 it's just torture 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 ohio that's pretty much it that is nothing but straight curves hills mountain all of it is just the big and it, it gets super foggy out there too 99% of the time I'm going through West Virginia, it's nighttime, it's foggy, and I'm heavy. I think I could count on one hand the number of times I've gone through West Virginia with a load lighter than 38,000 pounds. I'm always somewhere in the 40s. I just went through there, what, 42,000 the other day. It, it sucks. It freaking sucks. Don't even get me started on I-68. No, that's the next one. I-68 between West Virginia going through like Maryland and all that. That is hands down the worst interstate on the East Coast. That to me is like the Bell Pass of the East Coast. I don't think I've ever taken a route out East that actually gave me anxiety until I touched 68. Not only that, but I came from US 40 in Pennsylvania, dropped down to 68. I had 45,000 pounds on me the last time I did it, right? And that was also the first and only time I did that route. I was on my way to Baltimore, right? Crossing the Pennsylvania on I-70, take exit, whatever, 16, 19, whatever exit it is. You follow US-40 down that way. You're going through these small towns, steep grades and all that. And then, you know, I had the original, um, the Rand McNally Overdrive 8, the original one the last time I did it so I hear state border ahead I'm thinking all right it's gonna level out it's gonna get cool or whatever nah bruh 13 percent downgrade going into Maryland that was the first time I can remember I thought I was about to get turned into a t-shirt I thought somebody was about to roll me up in a joint and smoke me I thought I was dead dude I ain't been that scared on the road and since then since after that I don't think I've ever felt fear again because I survived it but I had 45,000 on me, 13% downgrade. No matter what I did, I could not keep the truck from accelerating down that hill. So it was just a stroke of luck I didn't screw up. But, you know, I remember I'm rolling. I see the sign for I-68 thinking in my head, all right, it's about to get, it's about to smooth out. It's about to smooth out. It's going to get easy. No. Then it started raining really heavy. Then it got foggy. And then I remember like a, I want to say it was a 6% downgrade for like 12 miles or something like that. I couldn't see anything in front of me. And it's just up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, down forever. It man, scared the soul out of me. I'm not going to lie. If you are coming from like, we'll say Columbus, Ohio. And you go on to Baltimore or something like that, just stay on I-70. Take 70 to 76 and uh, um, whatever that interchange is, get back on 70 and go down into Maryland that way through Hagerstown. It's a little bit extra mileage. 70 and 76 is still a pain. But it is not I-68 scary. I don't care what none of y'all say. I hate that road. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Next one. You already know. New York City. GW Bridge, all that. It's a free-for-all over there. The people up there do not care. They bully trucks. They'll cut you off in a heartbeat. Uh, now, I do it all the time. If you're going to go across the GW Bridge, 
I just need you to understand you cannot have morals. You cannot care about these people. You cannot care. If you need to get over, force your way over. That's just my opinion. Because they're not gonna let you. You just gotta you gotta make them make you. You gotta make them let you. I mean. It's a free-for-all in New York City. Um now I try to avoid doing deliveries in the city and stuff like that, like Long Island and all that, because it's super tight, but I'll pass through there all day. I don't like to, but I'll do it. The best time to go through is on the weekends or at nighttime, because that's when the traffic density is much lower. There's still people out, but it's not like constant stop and go traffic. There was one time I went through that city, it took me three hours. Three. I did an entire 8-2 split just sitting in traffic. It was it was bad. But um let's see what's another one. What's another one? I-70 in Colorado, west of Denver. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gorgeous scenery, don't get me wrong. It's it's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. But you know, Colorado remind me of a woman, man. The pretty ones are usually the super dangerous ones. You know what I mean? 70 is it's beautiful there are some people who like to do it i think personally i don't like it in large part because my truck is not built for the mountains like that i can pull mountains just not very quickly um i have probably like 264 rear ends on this truck so it is not it's a cruiser it's not meant for that type of environment you know it's doable it's just it's not preferred i'll put it that way now if you have a truck with like i'll just throw a number out like 308 gears or something like that where your rpms sit a little bit higher at the same speed as mine and you know you can pull those hills and your jake brake is stronger you have more torque and you know that type of deal i could see it being enjoyable but my experience over there no and i've only ever done that route in the winter time so basically they send me over there when no one else wants to do it don't do that crap the last time i did it i was coming up from coachella california and i was on my way to denver and the only reason i did it was because you know ray david who is a very loyal subscriber of mine you know, uh, he essentially called me a B-word because I wouldn't. I said I was going to take 40. He didn't say that exactly, but that's the narrative I'm rolling with. Yeah, yeah, Ray. Ray, you almost got me jacked up. You almost got me jacked up, bruh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, nah, really, like, take I-40. Just, just take 40. Just take 40 to 25 and go up. In the wintertime, I-70 is not worth it. It's not worth it. Just because I survived it does not mean you will. Okay. <laughs> you have to have vibranium nuts to do that crap. That's just my opinion. I can't really think of another one I, I really can't stand other than maybe, I would say maybe I-80 through Nebraska. That's just straight up boring. You got I-80 in Nebraska. You have I-70 in Kansas there's nothing to look at it's practically just flat and straight lines for 400 and some change miles if you don't fall asleep on that and you survive that i mean hey you're pretty much golden from that point wyoming is cool aside from the heavy winds out there um north and south dakota are i but dang that's pretty much all i could think of now, like I said in the last video, if you're watching this right when it comes out, I'm probably at home. I don't particularly want to record much of what me and my family are up to while I'm there. So, I'm going to just put these out for you guys. You guys can enjoy it. Um, and as I always tell you guys, be happy. Stay blessed. Do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you ever made. It really might. Now I'm Gold Phoenix, and I'm out.